Man of Medan. Okay, so like I said, it's a very cinematic game. So I'm going to try and avoid going over dialogue. But... I want to enjoy the cinematics as much as uh, I'm, I know most of you want to watch it. Oh my god, look at them facial expressions. I do need to keep my hands on the uh, the controller at all times for any quick actions. Oh my god. Fallen soldiers. Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? <laughs> Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Okay, um, so or to choose. Tell me about my son. Um, will I be rich? Say nothing. I suppose tell me about my son. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he uh is he gonna grow up alright? Things gonna work out for him? Dragon or a bamboo tile? That'll be a dragon, right? Tell me what you see. Press right trigger and examine with R. Right stick. Oh, oh it's a fish. It looks like a fish? Death. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Ooh. Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me know the quarter. Gonna start a tab. I feel I feel like this is more of a tutorial on how to do the actions, you know? There are timed events. So like them um them um multiple choice questions that we're giving me, they will be timed. Oh god. That wasn't good. It's gonna get faster and faster, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it's getting definitely getting faster, faster. Oh my god, oh my god. I don't want to get hit by this thing. I pressed it. What the hell? I think. It hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. A 
Well, that's not a good sign. Skull and cross bronze on it. I don't know what could be in them. Hey man! Hey, where's my... Where's my 50 cents? 50 cents? What 50 cents? Come on, man! Hey! Buzz off! Buddy. Nobody pushes me around! Live my medical opinion! These men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. Get this one to the medical room. Throw the other in the brig. And keep him there. Went to the brig. And we're off. So this is post uh, World War II. Yo, what the hell? Was that gunfire or was he just dreaming? So this is Jaw. Currently in the sick bay. Oh, we're actually moving around now. Who's this? Oh, it's his son. Two bot uh, two pops come back soon. Anything else? Oh, fucking hell! What the hell? What the actual shit? It's the key. Why the fuck's this guy in a locker, man? Look at him! I don't think I can do anything with him. Visuals look great though. I think we're just gonna go out. These camera angles, man, are insane. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on out there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. 
Okay. I can't, can't move. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Jesus. Keep calm. Press A in time with a heartbeat. This is going to get me killed. This is going to get me killed, like, later on down the line. It's not like you can look away, you know? They've done this on purpose. You have to keep your eyes on the screen. What the hell is going on? What the hell? What? Uh, what was that? Uh, no, 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 not little kids, not little kids. I swear to God, not little kids, please. Like I I don't I don't like dead 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 kiddos man in games they freak me out like that little boy in the grudge nope fucked me up fucked me right up that all that all that smokes around here as well unless he was dreaming about his son then hey Charlie help. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Fucking hell! Yeah, you said it. Yeah, I know I fucking said it. Son. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck. Why are they all like doing gasm faces? Damn, another stiff? Who's the lucky winner? Oh, damn it, Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. It looks like they've been petrified. Like, have you seen that episode of, um, I can't remember which, I think it was Doctor Who. And like, they saw something, it made them petrified, they like, made them like, proper stiff. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't like this camera angle. I don't like this camera angle. It's like a face is about to drop down. Press LB to walk faster. Oh, cool. Okay. I'll stay on here. I feel like I shouldn't be straying away right now. Oh, oh. So, uh, is it just Where'd we go? Me, or are you there? getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> What's this guy called? Charlie? Feels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. <laughs> oh. It is like World War II, like military style. <laughs> Fucking kid, man! Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh, no. Feeling all right? Oh. Charlie, get over here. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did that make me jump? Gasm faces, man. So, okay, we got a machine gun.
We got the Tommy gun, boys. Why? Why are you? What, take take your time, dude. <gasps> this fucking kid. I'm not gonna lie. I've got goosebumps, guys. Is this the room where the crates were? Hey, come here. Where's my friend? What the fuck? Oh God, no, Charlie! Oh. oh, he's there. Ah! What the fuck? That's gonna be me. Through this fucking game. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Hello. How you doing? And welcome to my repository. This guy reminds me of the, uh, the the therapist from Until Dawn. Like, he kind of helps you guide you through the game to understand better choices and stuff. I am 
I'm the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass, and we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. Okay. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Thanks, Doc. Yeah, in, in, in Until Dawn, like, when we go, every time we visit the therapist's office, things will change in the background or on his desk or little hints, his behavior changes. This is nice. Pretty. Brad is witty, Alex is brother, and he's innocent. Duke of Milan. We've got to keep all of these things in in thing right? Alex, Brad's brother Julia's boyfriend, insecure and motivated. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Oh, say nothing, resentful, insecure. Um, it's embarrassing. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, not good with people. Say nothing. I was invited. Uh, not Dude, good. you know I'm not like the best around new people. Whatever. Just shut up. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me. I want you to have a good time. Okay, well... What Bad if idea. Asked me to do something stupid like run around naked or something. Metaphorically, just go with it. All right, amigo, Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry, I'm a little snappy. I'm just the new medical school would be stressful, you know. Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, with Julia, it's been rough. I can understand that. Empathetic. It's been two weeks. We are empathetic. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. All the choices I'm going to make, by the way, guys, is all going to be what I would do. Okay? Just to see how the story comes out. 
Hey, so uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Propose. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! Julia. Okay, so that's Alex's girlfriend. She's excited. This is Conrad. He's foolhardy. Julia's brother. He's relaxed. He's in X-Men. Oh. Doesn't he play the fire guy? The, or the ice Connie, one? Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way. My little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Uh, say nothing. I get seasick. Uh... Yeah, cool. Yeah. Why not? It's quite cool. cool. Tight. I, I love beer. Sorry, but that excuse does not hold water. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. Right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. Uh, it's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Say nothing gloomy, never. Um, let's go with never spirit. Let's be truthful. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're going to pop your cherry together. We're going to be gentle. Uh... I don't think you guys can see what's happening up in top right. This is like traits updated, uh, relationship updated. Oh, where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? She's impatient, captain of the Duke of Milan, and she's courageous. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. She's going to be a bit of a hothead. I can see that already. I kind of like the nerdy guy. That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. See those hot tits. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know? A nice dive. Uh, Brad was a sure optimistic. Brad uh, did his homework. Uh, optimistic. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <laughs> okay, Ooh. look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm going to go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Relationship updated. Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to Port Authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Uh... 
disappointing. Um, say nothing. Guys, no one knows, no one cares. No harm, no foul. The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Okay. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. I've, I've, I forgot her name. Julia? Is it Julia? Oh, we're in. Okay. We're going to see anything? Maybe not. Unless it's, we did it and we just didn't see anything. Almost Missed it. Got the gear good to go. Uh, thanks for paying. Need a hand? Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Uh, plate cool for now. Make a for uh, making a fortune. Let's play yeah, cool. I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. Cat fight. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Let me speak to this guy as well. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Oh, okay, right. Let's be careful here because I want to make sure I um, don't miss anything. There's a gap in the tail. I've been told that. But yeah, it's a bomber, isn't it? World War II bomber. Oh, what's going on here? That's nothing. Hmm. I don't see anything. Maybe for something when we go diving down there. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. I just apologize. I uh, feel like we're in a bit of a bad books yeah, right now. Sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? I, I don't know. I doubt a couple of eggs and I would enough to know the rules. Uh, uh, selfish you would? Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. All right, chill out. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. A belligerent, uh, who's gonna know? I, I get it. Uh, how much? How much extra? Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? You... <laughs> this is not about the money. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Okay. Ease up a little bit. 
Like. Oh, what's this? Oh, why did that light up? What am I looking at here? A ship. Two ships. What the? Premonition unlocked. It's like he was alert, like he uh, fell out of bed and was alerted to something, you know? What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Uh, sympathetic, don't worry, you should know better. Uh... Ready hey. where you are. All part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. The thing is, we, we have to kind of keep remembering where, like, we put everything. Oh, what's that? Huh. Try to remember where things get put, how people are saying, reacting, the feeling. Because that is going to affect our general decisions within the future. Oh, thought some of my pops out. left anything on the mainland. Dior. It's only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Shroud of Innocence. A must read from anyone with an interest in the uh, sailing witch trials of uh, 1692. The Herald. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, nothing else in here? Okay. Well, she did shout and say that the oxygen tanks were not... Oh, oxygen tanks were ready. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, full name, uh, Felice? Felice? For least, for least, I don't know what that is. Uh, the instructor then said on the rear is authorized to conduct classes in the designated uh, designate speciality as sanctioned by Dive Master Federation. It expires the tw uh, 31st of the 12th. Born in 83. Felicity. That's who it is. Felicity. Okay. All right. Julia. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Uh, play for looking good, Jay. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks for, uh, thanks for sending me straight. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate. Oh, take a take. What's camera? Or is that a button? I want to take the camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. All right, kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. Talk a tick. Uh, I want to talk to her. Does that give us an option then? Say nothing romantic. Uh, this is, uh, romantic. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. <laughs> Are you going to bring your bang stick? <laughs> that front cabin is going to pop its portholes. Are we, are we going to take it anyway? This could be a bad idea. I feel like it was the obvious choice, though, you know? Like, to take the stick. Whoa. You good? More or less. Hey. 
She been flesh is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. I'm looking at everything, guys. It's a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid I relax you why not uh, disagree I need to focus pass I have to stay focused on your friends down there pretty nice ride you got here where'd you get the cash uh, it's a long story don't ask a lady about her money mm, I feel like she's gotta be nice sometimes it's a long story it's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. I'm very kind of resentful. I built this business from scratch. I feel like he's just trying to get in a pants. I built this business from scratch. I took out a loan on my boat and that's all the help I need. Thanks. Uh, Why does she have to be what? snappy? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Oh. Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Maybe a storm? Uh oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. Hmm. We've already read this, right? It's telling us to go to that thing again. Maybe we'll speak. Can we speak to him? Okay. Or not? Hello? Hey there. How's it hanging? Uh, is it going to relaxation? You can. You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. Uh, too bad charm isn't among them. Curious. Uh, are you beached? So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? Mm, I'm used. <laughs> nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. I don't see anything different. It's just the same images. I wish I had the binoculars because we've just seen someone on the, the blip thing, right? See anything? Hmm.
I'm going to check on this. Uh, and check on what's he got. I've already checked that picture. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Uh, hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Concerned. Hope they are not dying. Uh, do you know? Concerned. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Are you close with your brother? Uh, what other dives? Are you close with your brother? <laughs> Known him my whole life. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. I like our probing a little bit there. Oh, oh another picture. Why do I keep these around? What the hell? I've already looked at these. Just... Eh. Hmm. Unless she notices anything different. Oh. Oh. Okay. I just gonna check that monitor again. I'm worried about that beep. That uh, blip. Oh. Hey, Fliss. Look, there's a boat. What's that about? Uneasy. Uh, that's not the Coast Guard. It's been a fishing boat. That looks a bit uneasy. That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, be quiet and let me handle it. Uh, this feels off. Worried. This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Uh -oh. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. That's not good. said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? The rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Oh, I did not expect that. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. 
uh, ladies first. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? Oh. She have breathing issues then? Oh, just looks at that. Oh. Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Let's go for it. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. Squid. Got it. stupid down here that's it one chance you get that chill out i'm fine see no problemo searching in progress searched area one clear searched area two clear searched area three clear they were on their way to help out a ship A bullet. Secret bullet found. Holes. All down the fuselage. Anti aircraft shell. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Brad's the younger brother, isn't he? Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. his girlfriend or his mistress or his wife wow what the hell happened here a little look at things they knew they were goners he's holding something oh god I've just done that okay uh you hear that let's check it out Want to go first? Ugh. Ah, cheap piece of shit. Knife just snapped. He's got a pistol. Life gives you lemons. Ew. Uh, fucking eel. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. 
Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 we're not touching anything else. I don't even know why I did that. We gotta get out of here now. <gasps> shark? Now there's a shark? Yeah, come at me, shark! It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't. I guess. Oh. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia. Will you marry me? I... I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I... I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Yes. Why not? Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> Alright, handsome hero. You wanna get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Gotta decompress here. <gasps> Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Cautious. We're gonna be cautious here. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. It's taking too long. Oh God, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. Hey, oh. what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Barbecue. Are you serious? There was a little uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Also the other boat. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. So that happened. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. 
Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well.